Dr. Woot here with a tutorial today to show you how to add a custom job to your Dark RP server. You're going to need two things. You're going to need a Dark RP server and you're going to need a uh, Notepad Plus to follow along easier with me. You don't you don't necessarily need it, but it'll help you follow along with me. And it's very organized and nice. Now, you, you go into your Dark RP folder, which I think would be in game modes or wherever you install the base of Dark RP to. And once you're in there, you go to game mode then you go to shared and in there you can see right here uh, team mayor team police blah 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 this is a cheap way of doing it this is the way I do it I just copy the code and it makes it easier so we're, today we're gonna make a federal agent like FBI kinda guy so I'm just gonna copy for police because he's part of the law team pretty much so he'll have mostly this, like a lot of the same things that a, a police officer would. And you want to go down here, and it to it tells you to add custom teams under this line, but you don't have to. It it's, it helps for organization, but I don't. But for the sake of this video, I'll do that. So we're gonna add, we're gonna, call, we're gonna paste that right there. There you go. We have our team underscore police team right there. <clears throat> now basically, what you do is you just edit everything. So let's see, since it's a federal agent, we're going to name him Team Feds. That sounds good. The Feds, oh no, the Feds, you know. Anyway. <laughs> okay, and this right here, yeah, well, well, first off, let me say Team underscore Feds is like if you want to give him a certain door or uh, other than that, or like a certain agenda and stuff, uh, that has to do with that but we're not getting into that now maybe in a future tutorial I'll show you that but um that's actually quite simple but anyway moving on adding this job this is the name of the, this name right here police officer in these quotes right here in this little add extra right after add extra team is what it will show up when the player goes to click on it in game when they hit the job menu in dark RP and so since he's a federal agent we're gonna name him obviously federal agent and down to the second line color now I, I will be leaving a link in the description to um, to this really cool website I found <coughs> where it tells you all the RGB codes of any color you like now there might be better websites out there but this is the one I use so let's say since he's a federal agent we'll make him dark blue okay so once you find the color you want you just get get color info you click that and there you go now you want to use the RGB code and I found it better to always leave the uh, last for the fourth digit of the actual code and <clears throat> the actual color code in the dark RP script to be 255 because that's like the brightness or whatever of the color I believe and it, it usually just it always works just leaving it that for me Okay, so there's our color code, which means that in game, the color on the scoreboard, if a player has this job, it'll be this color. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. Moving on. The model. Now, this is kind of tricky because some of the models in Gary's Mod don't work correctly and they won't work right. So, in the description, I'll have a list of a lot of working models, but some of them still might not work, and if they don't, um, I don't really know what to tell you. You're gonna have to like choose a different one, I guess. But um, basically, yeah, there'll be a link in the description. So we're just gonna leave him as police model. But you put this much of the model code in there, and the player, when they choose this job, will become that model. And here, one line below this, is the description of the job. And you want to leave it in these brackets. <clears throat> And it's basically what the player will see when they go to choose this job. They'll see the description of him. So let's write a description of the federal agent. You are a agent. No, you are a federal agent. Whoops. You are. Oh my gosh. You are a federal agent. You work under the mayor. And must keep him safe. That's just a basic description of him. Now players will read that in game and know what they have to do. Whatever. Know the description of the job. That's pretty simple. 
Now weapons, <clears throat> this is what the player will have and when you're adding weapons in there, um, you always want to leave them in quotations. And uh, let's just see, I'll remove one weapon so you can see. You move a weapon and you don't need to have a comma in front of it and I usually keep a space to make it look nice. Well, actually, no, you don't, you don't need a space, but it, it wouldn't matter either way. And then uh, w one line under that is command, and that means, like, what the player will type to become that. Like, sl they'll have to type in chat slash CP to become a police officer. But since this is a federal agent, let's have them type slash fed. Sure, there you go. And, um, of course, the player doesn't have to type that. They can hit F4 or whatever you set the menu to to go to the jobs menu okay one line under that is max max means how many players can be this job at once and federal agents will have some crazy weapons or something I don't know so let's just make two and the salary since they're so huge you know on the you know huge up there on the uh, job scale high up at the top we'll, we'll give them 90 which is outrageous they're gonna be rolling in money admin means um, oh yeah, and this salary, um, that's how much they'll make for whatever you set the time limit to. Anyway, the, ad the admin uh, line right under that salary line means um, if it's admin only or not. And an example of that would be if you go up here and see my super admin class, the admin equals for him is 2, which means super admin only. 1 would be regular admin, 0 is a normal player. So that means since this is 0, normal people can choose him. You don't have to be an admin to be able to choose him. Okay. One line below that. Uh, vote equals true. That's saying, like, if the player chooses this job, they'll have to get voted in by other players. And since he's a part of the law, and we don't want players just randomly jumping around, jumping onto this job, and shooting everyone up, we're going to make vote equals true. So that means when he clicks the button, people have to vote yes or no for him. But if you make it false, that means he can just be it until the max has been reached. But we're going to leave it at true. Oh my god, I can't type. And has license means if he has a gun license or not. So it's like, is he allowed to carry a gun? Of course, if you spawn him with weapons, he'll still spawn with them whether he's allowed to carry them or not, whether he has a license or not. But this is just saying that, you know, if he legally can carry them, uh, depending on your server rules. But since he's a uh, law enforcement, we're just going to leave it at true. And uh, this, you just don't even touch this. I mean, if you wanted to make a different, like, help thing for them, uh, that would be kind of different. You can, you can kind of just remove this if you want, I believe. If not, uh, I mean, if you get errors, just leave it there. And um, <clears throat> what that is is like if the player type slash help, it'll have job helps. I, you can make your own of those, I believe. And uh, in a future tutorial, I'll cover that. But for now, uh, you make sure you end it with these brackets here. And uh, yeah, it's basically it. Your job should work uh, when you go in game. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, there'll be more tutorials in the future. If you'd like to know something else, uh, send me a message. Maybe I'll make a video about it or reply to you. Uh, yeah, I hope I help somebody out. And thanks for watching. Bye.